Building your React Native apps from scratch can give you more control over the look and how your app works. However, this can take a lot more time to accomplish. So in this video, we'll consider three tips to make the development process a lot faster. I'll give you a bonus tip at the end as well. The first tip is to define a source of truth for your colors. By this, I mean a place where you store all the colors that you need and use in your project. You can do this using a colors file in which you export an object with your colors, which you can assign a name to each one of them depending on what you use it for. Now whenever you need to use a color, you import it from this file. The benefit you get from this is that you're able to achieve consistent colors in your application easily since there is no need to go through your code and find the exact hex code for the colors that you have used. Now here is a pro tip. Just like using the RGBA color format for defining colors with opacity, you can define hex codes with opacity as well. You can do this by adding two more decades for the opacity which must be in hex as well. This is a summary of some of the percentages that you can achieve and their hex values. If you have a color and you take let's say 70% value which is B3, you can attach it to make the color 70% opaque. You can also flip the value around to make it 70% transparent instead. Secondly, you should make use of custom reusable components. When you do a particular thing more than once in your app, you should consider making it a standalone component to some extent. You can do this for very basic components such as text, patterns, text inputs and containers. Taking the text for example, you can create components for a small text, a regular one and a big one. This can save you the time it will take for you to ensure that all your small texts are of the same sizes and so on. The same applies for containers, buttons and text inputs. When you make them components, you've written the code just once and you can go ahead to create multiple pages quickly using them. For example, using one container, a button and a text input component, I can create a login page and a sign up page in no time. I'll create an in-depth video just for setting up the very basic components in this tip, so stick around. For now, I'll link to these components for download in the description. The next tip is to make use of external libraries smartly. If I'm not mistaken, you can get an external library or package for anything you want to implement in React Native. Due to this, when you're implementing a feature from scratch and it will take a very long time to get it done, you need to check if there is an actively maintained package out there which does exactly what you want to do. If there is one and it will take less time for you to adjust and use it than to implement it by yourself, you should go ahead and do that instead. This will enable you to save some time which you can use to work on other important things. Now our bonus tip is to use copy paste carefully. Copy pasting is a great way to save some time writing code. It's also a sure way for you to waste more time fixing errors than the time that you need to get a task done manually. So when you are creating a component or a page and you need it to be similar to an already existing one, you are better off creating a blank file and copying and pasting the whole content of that component. With that done, you can start by changing the component name and export to the new name. Add the extra codes you need and remove the ones that you don't. This will make it easier to detect and deal with errors. Using Ctrl plus D on Windows or Command plus D on Mac OS, you should be able to select adjacent names or tags and you can easily edit them simultaneously. We will have a look at the useful basic components that you can set up for our React Native projects in the next video. For now, you can check out the useful links in the description below the like button or select one of the videos on your screen for more to the point code.